Hello and thank you for watching this hopefully pretty decent video on Prophet of Wrath. Uh, Prophet of Wrath is going to be the legendary enchant we're going to be using today. I have heard really, really good things about it, so I'm excited to kind of tune it a little more. Um, this is going to be a little different because you heard me say tune. It's going to be less of a guide. I am going to update you with where I'm at currently, uh, but I think it could be performing a lot better. So if you use this build before, or you have any ideas on how to kind of squeak out a little more damage, definitely let me know. Um, and that's pre pretty much what we're going to be doing today. So let me first go over the enchant itself. Your arcane blast and arcane missiles increase the duration of divine illumination by 0.5 seconds each time they damage an enemy. Your smite and holy fire spells reduce the cooldown of divine illumination by 6 seconds. While divine illumination is active, your arcane and holy spell critical damage bonus is increased by 40%. In addition, your arcane blast and arcane missiles become infused with holy power, causing them to deal divine damage. Divine damage is a combination of the arcane and holy schools, and will benefit from the highest modifier to either school. Now, besides Prophet of Wrath itself, all right, we should talk about the other things we have going on. We have Pendulum, again, Pendulum, really good ended up being really good in the healing build i'm still using it so i decided i'm gonna throw it into the prophet of wrath build i like it so far maybe we'll change it maybe we won't but i like it so far um also we do have holy magics dealing non-periodic damage with holy spells and abilities increases your arcane damage by two percent stacking five times so obviously again we're stacking mostly into arcane damage so when we have again holy magics stacking a lot of into arcane damage it's really really good to even stack for you know we're, we're let me rewind we're already everything we're doing is arcane damage let me be clear all the damage with some minor exceptions in the talent tree is all arcane damage so buffing that arcane damage is even higher for pretty much free because we're going to be using smite and holy fire regardless is really good uh the last epic we have is, is kind of a placeholder it is a honest mistake uh, this is another one we talked about last time after one of your spells misses you gain five percent increased spell hit chance and five percent spell haze for 10 seconds now a big issue with the build right now is we have no hit rating absolutely zero um i couldn't be fucked to farm a separate set of gear so this is all my my healing gear which i didn't need hit rating on now we're kind of screwed uh, because we have no hit rating, we're missing a shit ton of spells, which is really bad. So we are going to be looking to get some hit rating gear, hopefully in this video, um, which should help our DPS a lot. Uh, that seems to be the biggest issue right now. So an honest mistake, um, helping us get a little less of those spell hit misses uh, should be good. Um, now, really quickly on the rare enchants, we are running three stacks of raw light. Uh, this is going to make our divine illumination now increase your spell critical strike chance by 4%. We also have missile barrage increases the chance to proc your missile barrage sound by 3%. For those who don't know, every time we cast arcane blast, we have a chance to get a really strong version of arcane missiles. That's the summary. So that's what that talent is going to be doing for us. We are running Arcane Empowerment, which is going to be increasing the flat damage of our Arcane Missiles and Arcane Blasts by 2%. Now, again, that's stacking three times, so that's actually 6%, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and then finally, we are running Fierce Mind. Again, most of this is my healing set, so it has a lot of spirit. Fierce Mind is going to be giving us some of that spirit as spell power. All right, so that's going to be 9% of our total spirit being converted into spell power. So really, really happy to see that as well. I, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty good. But we need a hit rating. So that's kind of where we're at. But yeah, so I guess without further ado, uh, let's get into some dungeons and, and kind of see where we're at. I did some solo kind of testing um, and it went okay. Why do you want to be there? Ah! Why Why no work? Why no work, game? I'm going to re-fucking-download Skada. And Skada, I swear to God, I'm not... Skada, I swear to God, I'll fucking replace you. You do that to me one more time. Make a fool out of me one more time. You're fucking done. With one of the spell, with one of the talents we got, and I will um, be posting just a full screenshot of the talents. I'm not going to go over them individually, but I'm going to be posting a full screenshot. One of them we got is going to be a really big buff to our Holy Fire. So that is going to be searing... Nope, it's not going to be searing light. Cut that out. It's going to be Divine Fury. 
Now, this is going to be increasing the critical strike chance of Holy Fire by 6%. In addition, you deal 9% increased direct magic damage against targets afflicted by Holy Fire. So, obviously, we want to keep Holy Fire up as much as possible. That I mean, it, it's free damage. It's free. It's free real estate. We probably want to start with a Holy Fire, Divine Illumination, and then we're going to spam Arcane Blast. Just, just fucking spam it. Just fucking go. So, we're going to be spamming Arcane Blast. We're gonna be spamming arcane missiles when we get procs. Um, ideally, with four stacks of the arcane blast debuff. Um, now, this debuff is gonna be making our arcane spells deal additional damage at a higher mana cost. So you'll kind of see that pop up on the side here as we get going. Um, finally, when we get out of divine illumination, we're gonna be spamming holy fire and smite as much as we can to get a divine illumination back, and then it kind of repeats the cycle. So I'm not, I'm not surprised to hear that. Why am I targeted? I used everything for this. Oh, I, I'm not even paying attention to when I get a um, missile brush. Bada bing. Bada boom. I did not gotten missile bras once. Holy, that's unlucky. And then we just spam smite for a second. Come on, baby. Come on, puppy. Again, a lot of misses. We did pull aggro off the tank. Oh, the tank died actually. Okay. 10k. Please! Oh my god, no! Just don't. Wait, am I gonna crit myself? Holy shit. I'm crit. Yeah, I'm critting myself. Okay. This. This sucked. This sucked. I was doing so much. I was doing so much damage. I don't. I just powered infusion because it didn't work earlier. Are you done? Bro, stop! I'm so sad! Every time I try to get a cast off, I get knocked away. Okay. This is where we pump. Oh. That's okay. Yeah, that's a good point. I did not realize. I did not realize that this would be happening. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna buff up or something. I guess I don't. Even, I don't even know. Not even worth for me to hit this boss at this point. Oh, I don't have any buffs up. I should get some buffs up. Okay. I have nothing else to spend my mana on. I can't hit the boss. It doesn't help that I'm also missing a lot. Just don't crit myself, please. I crit myself. Bro, I'm so sick. This boss sucks. As a healer, this was not my issue before, but now it is my issue and it's so awful. I also don't have any movement. Okay, watch this. I'm just gonna get up. Well, I don't want to, you know, crit myself anyway. Now when he launches me back. Oh my god, that's the strat. I found the strat, guys. Now he launches me back. It doesn't even matter. Okay, healer, keep me up. I'm pumping. I'm pumping. I don't care. He has to die. Oh, that was, that, that was a misclick there. Okay, this was this was a bad boss for me. This was a bad boss for me Okay, okay, all right, I hurt myself a lot 
Okay, we figured out it was that was not ideal. We figured out the meta in the end. That's all that matters. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any tips I can make the build better, definitely leave a comment. Otherwise, thank you so much. Adios.